Oh, oh no, 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 no. Where, where's my drive? What now? Damn it, I forgot the drive. You're gonna have to paddle. What? I have, I have a Bisbee? What? <laughs> no way, <laughs> no way, no way, wait, 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 wait. We could actually motorize this boat like in two seconds. Oh my God. Oh, my. oh it's back here. Oh my God. Look, um, gotta find a placement for this battery, but dude, this is the Bisbee. Amazing stuff. This thing is pretty much weightless. Like all this setup is like 11 pounds, probably less. And guess what? You could buy one through my affiliate link below and you help the channel. And right now they got a sale going on. I don't know how long it's gonna last. You may see this video a year later, but at the time they had a sale. But dude, we're gonna get to use the Bisbee. I put the battery in the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Bisbee right here. I took my old adapter. I removed the cable. That's why you see that hole there. And I removed this piece here that was holding the Bisbee. And now with the J2, it's easy to connect. And the amazing thing, what I really love about this setup right here is that it's grab and go. Now this adapter from Bisbee is used for the Hobie drives, but it also works on the Pelicans and other kayaks that use the Hobie style mirror drive. Some of them may not quite fit. So you have to, I mean, Google it, like search for a video about like, I'll probably have a video about it with a Bisbee and your boat. So just Google your boat, say a lining kayak and Bisbee and you'll see it. Now you see this here? I should have put that smaller cone. Oh, okay. See, Bisbee has a smaller cone that will basically go through it, but we forgot to change it because we didn't think ahead. But anyways, I was able to put it through. Bisbee is down there, plug it in. Okay, look, it's there. It's not gonna go anywhere and now, this is gonna save me from paddling. <laughs> Although it's sort of nice to paddle right here. You know, but like, why would you get a Bisbee on a boat like this? Well, sometimes your legs just get tired. Like I have my son here on this boat and he was going really fast and then he told me that he got tired. So if you take a little kid with you, maybe you wanna take a Bisbee just as a backup or just the main propulsion system. Now, let's go ahead and put the kill switch and give it some speed. Basically, I wanna see how fast it goes, uh, low speed, middle speed, and high, super fast speeds. The awesome thing about this setup, other than that it's just grab and go, is that you use the assisting rudder control on the boat, which is right here. See, you don't have to do anything, it's plug and play. Let's go ahead and give it some speed so you guys see how that works. This right here is speed three. I like to start speed three because See, Bisbee goes from like zero to 12, although those speeds may be changing. So I like to start speed three, which I think was the oldest speed one. And here we can see that we're moving nicely. As you can see, it's a beautiful day right now. It is 4.35 on a Sunday afternoon here in Florida, November the 20, 28th of November. So it's a, it's a beautiful day right now. Uh, we should get a golden hour pretty soon, so. Enough of that, let's go to speed six. Actually, let me take the phone out, <laughs> iPhone. So we can see that right now, you see this phone is stupid. I mean, I think it said between 1.6 to 1.8. So now let's give it a little more speeds. Let's go to speed six, three, uh, that was four, five, six. All right, six, speed number six we're going at 2.1 miles an hour that is sort of 2.4 it says right here that is sort of like the half the speed let's go ahead and do a turn right here watch this oh, what dude it's like a donut it's like a donut let me see if i could uh record some videos of a uh, donut man look at that what at this at speed number six you could probably maintain this for like seven hours plus and that's a lot of time that's a lot of distance we, we're going at 2.6 2.5 miles an hour and this was pretty much effortless plug and play and they set up the bisbee you could use it in pretty much any boat any single boat that you may have you you may motorize it with the bisbee i say may because you, you never know maybe you have a something that whatever 2.6 miles an hour i want to crank it up really fast and I want to see how fast we go at the maximum speed. But we also have reverse here. And I also want to see if we crank it up to the maximum speed, 
how fast we turn <laughs> let's go first let's just crank it up and then do a turn because because i want to see that whoa whoa you can feel the power i mean i don't know how fast we're going it feels like we're going seven miles an hour but i know we're not but look at this seriously i want to see how well it turns right here dude like seriously like it's a donut i'm turning on the spot right now maximum peace 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 no way wow look at this beautiful bro beautiful oh my god this is actually enjoyable right now it's sort of like my therapy you know what now is the perfect time to go in reverse because we are about to hit the grass again i don't want to take the drive out again so let's go ahead and do that you hear that it, it makes such a crazy like so much power to go in reverse well whatever i think we're probably going like 1.5 1.8 miles an hour let's stop it right here and let's go forward I can't get over how nicely this thing turns. We got maximum speed right now. I wanna see how fast we go at maximum speeds. Let me take my avionics out. Hopefully it marks. Oh my God, uh, 3.7 miles an hour, 3.8. I saw 4.1, but this one is crazy. It's probably gonna be around four. I will call it right now. This is four miles an hour. It, it feels like four miles an hour for real so that is a success because this boat is very light and to be able to just plug in the bsp and it worked awesome stuff look at this but like four miles an hour dude that that's that is incredible and let's see if i could turn here on this tie window right here dude wow that that is huge this is this is a success like i feel great Taking my drive with me, taking the Bisbee, and plugging the Bisbee if I don't want to use the drive or run tire or whatever, and then push it up if I wanted to. Like I could take the drive as a backup <laughs> instead of the Bisbee being the backup. The drive will be the backup if I go and fish and stuff like that. Because I mean, I, I like to fish. Like I could literally see myself with a fishing rod right here and casting and, and just controlling the rudder right here on my left. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Now, I do want to test something out. I want to see if we poop the beast beat at half the speed and paddle a little bit to see how that feels just just for fun so let's go ahead and do that and you might ask Elias if you buy a motor will you still paddle well maybe you want to work out maybe you want to stay in your wrench maybe you bore whatever maybe you want to paddle who cares no it doesn't matter like seriously when conditions are bad and you're paddling it feels so horrible but when conditions are good and you're paddling it feels amazing it's like you're just like walking you know you're not running you're actually walking so it's sort of so the Bisbee sort of like does that like it feels like you you're like going at running speed but you're actually walking so that's huge i don't know if that makes sense but hey try it and let me know if i'm making sense okay so we're going straight right here i got the rudder going straight let's give it a little bit of juice see this is what i mean like look look at how i'm just putting the blade on the water and i'm going at 3.2 miles an hour like seriously amazing stuff now let's say i want to crank it up with a paddle a little bit 3.7 you know what let's just go hard okay that's maximum speed let me center it we're going at 3.5 we started with almost four miles an hour 3.9 4.3 4.4 4 4.9 probably five miles an hour now what happens if you need to do a quick turn so you don't hit the grass and you have a paddle Oh, no way that was crazy amazing and that was huge guys if you like this video don't forget to hit like this like doesn't work anymore and check the links below buy a bisp through my link the motorized whatever you have even an inflatable 90 dollar kayak from amazon yes i did that i'll link that video right here see you in the next episode of whatever this is <laughs>